How do y'all be delicious people? I'm here today. 985 subscriptions on the channel. 985 people on the channel. One thing that I want to let people know is I'm probably going to go through old videos and make a lot of adjustments. Uh, some, some adjustments I will also be making if I continue certain series. But realize that it's not going to be a huge drastic change. Uh, if anything, I'm probably just renaming certain videos. I'm making it much more, I guess you would call it commercially viable if you want to call it in YouTube terms. Because uh, ultimately, looking at it, we are pretty much close to hitting a thousand subscriptions on the YouTube channel. Meaning, uh, we are close to this channel eventually being this thing called monetized. So, ultimately, I'm I'm kind I'm kind of sticking my guns and ultimately keeping certain things on the channel but it might have to be renamed or rebranded or kind of adjusted and or changed uh so that way it might just be commercially just a little bit okay named but anyways that's kind of this the the stupid thing to mention uh because ultimately i don't like talking about that kind of stuff but i just want to warn people if they think, oh my god, he's going to drastically change, and all of a sudden, like, you're seeing all these changes done on the channel, and you're like, I don't like this change. Realize we're going to continue to do exactly what we're doing. It's just going to be done a tweakingly bit different. So, it's just going to be the same thing. Same thing. Ultimately, I I still do not, and I mean do not, I do not want to have a YouTube algorithmic, algorithm like YouTube channel. Uh, you're not going to see any YouTube thumbnails of me on the face of said thumbnail, and then in the background be having some game content or some... Uh, movie content or whatever even though uh, from what I have been told supposedly all these kinds of thumbnails uh, are much more YouTube algorithm 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 like whatever you want to call it to eventually uh, get people bigger views which I don't understand how that could be quite possible because when looking at it when you have what is it probably 50 bajillion people all having their their thumbnails with and and then there's some gaming thing in their background when you have 50 bajillion people all doing the same movie and they all have the same background we're like and the and the movies in the background of their thumbnail how are you expecting a bigger amount of views with doing that i'm not quite i'm not quite understanding quite the actual thought process of which the way the which that goes so it kind of feels like you can just throw any kind of thumbnail that just kind of fits an algorithm and it doesn't really have to be all that good it just has to be a thing um i don't know i think i've kind of in all actuality <laughs> when actually looking at it like the channel i think has gone pretty well with not having to do those kinds of things like I think that the channel has really kind of gone out of its way to kind of dodge those bullets and ha and do something that doesn't need to have an algorithm as an answer to just like well hey F it like you know what I don't have to really put in much of an effort effort I just have to crunch the numbers on YouTube come on here and do a movie review of something where YouTube numbers gave gave me this gave me this movie, and and now I don't have to put much of an effort effort into a thumbnail. I just gotta slap my face on it. I am not of an I am not an attractive man. I am I am honest with that. Uh, I am not a good looking guy. So I otherwise really just otherwise decide that 
My face does not need to be on a thumbnail. Maybe I should just slap Brad Pitt's face on everything. And and then ultimately have like a um just to be YouTube algorithm whatever friendly. Just slap YouTube just slap Brad Pitt's face on everything and make it look like he, and then on the back just kind of do uh kind of whatever background of some movie or some uh whatever. More than likely, a lot of people would assume that it's like, well, yeah, that would be clickbaiting the the whole thing of it. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, but I'm not gonna put my face in the thumbnail. I'm not gonna put my uh. Why would I put my face on? I'm not that good at looking of a person. I really am not. Um. Like how grizzly and everything that I look all the time because I don't, uh, because I don't really shave that often because I don't care because. Who cares about shaving a lot of the times? I really don't care anymore about shaving. I'd rather just grow a big, thick, ZZ top beard that looks all grizzly and cool. Uh, but anyways, but a lot of those times, God, when I when I would try to grow out like a really thick, like facial hair or really thick hair, just good God, it just like, it's too much maintenance or it's too much just like, God, that was so just irritating. I'd have to just shave it off and just like, and work and just do something with that. So, but anyway, what am I talking about myself for? No one cares about that. So, in the future, we're just adjusting things, but we're not heavily adjusting much of anything. We're just making it YouTube uh, friendly. Ultimately, I don't even know exactly what I'm going to do for YouTube videos today. Uh, I kind of went out of my way to watch a film, uh, or I watched two films. But I don't know if I'm just going to go and separately uh, review those today and then go out of my way to... Because uh, I'm starting to make a very special adult variation of a certain review. So ultimately, uh, kind of taking those two things out of the equation... I'm like, ah, uh, <laughs> like, ooh, yeah, mm, I don't, mm, yeah, mm, I don't know if I should take those out, but uh, without a doubt, I think I'm going to do so, so F it, uh, so I can, I can have a movie review out there. Um, also, I want to continue doing uh, Crossing Forbidden Lines. Reasonably, a lot of people might be not understanding exactly what that is, but hopefully within thumbnail after thumbnail after thumbnail, people will much more understand. Uh, because ultimately, when looking at it, we're not using the words like sex as a crutch anymore. Uh, ultimately, trying to adjust my videos so that way it doesn't seem like I'm ultimately going uh, too far for YouTube, which is stupid. Uh, it is, it is, it honestly is, because when you can't, uh, when you can't play to an adult audience, and then you can't play to a child audience, and so you can't play to anybody, you just kind of keep putting a video out there that is the most, like, family-friendly thing that you could do, and what the, is that, what the F is that? I don't know. So I just I just am trying as much as possible to continue to put videos out every day and hope that the channel keeps on growing, keeps on chugging. Uh cuz ultimately I am still stubbornly not going to do I'm not going to I'm not going to like play to any kind of algorithmish like thing so i review a lot of odd movies i don't care i'm gonna keep reviewing odd films i'm gonna keep reviewing films that don't make sense for me to review uh i'm going to keep doing games that probably um that probably uh may go well may go well uh, cause they've consistently have been doing that. So yeah, um, 
I'm not going to be the... Ultimately, the only way that I will cement that I will be a person that plays the YouTube algorithm or whatever, like these silly thumbnails or weird, bizarre uh, kind of videos that have to appeal to the broadest audience possible. When you see those things happening on this channel, that will mean one of two things. If you see thumbnails that play to the YouTube algorithm, it'll mean that I will not be doing those thumbnails. I will not be doing those thumbnails. I will have somebody else be doing those thumbnails if I ever get to that kind of part of which I do YouTube. Uh, reasonably, if looking at it, uh, editing. Editing videos freaking suck. So ultimately, uh, there's a lot of stuff that probably got uh, left into the the videos that I didn't honestly looking back on. I'm like, yeah, I don't like that. Mm, I really don't. <laughs> but uh, it's too little too late uh, now. I don't want to go back and try to get to them and try to change them and try to adjust them and whatever. It's just, it is what it is. So... My ultimate goal is to just try and otherwise look at look at if uh, I were to ultimately really play to the YouTube algorithm is probably because I'd have a third person telling me to do these videos and I'd probably have a third person doing my thumbnails and I'd probably have a third person that is crunching the numbers and they are telling me to do things. Ultimately, for me, I, or third person, like, you are the second person, I'm the first person. Um, so, ultimately, if I had a third person just kind of cranking out the numbers and telling me what to do for YouTube, then I will do it. But otherwise, other than that, no. I am, I am not, I am firmly going to go out of my way to put my foot down and say no. Uh, when looking at things like Kappa, like that really cemented that the way of which that I was trying to do this channel was absolutely not going to work. Like I was trying to, like I was at the most point trying to make this channel as adult as possible. But then off to the side, eventually, every once in a while, I'll do some kid content so I can kind of be, like, overall kind of like a family-ish, like, con like, content creator at some points. But now when Kappa came in here, I was like, no. No, I'm, I'm done with that. Like, ultimately, I'm playing to my audience, which is most of the time me, because a lot of times I watch my own videos. Um... Not all the time, just kind of sometimes before they go out to, uh, cause there's a lot of times where I have to kind of just watch my own video just to see if, uh, it, uh, if there's any kind of video issues, cause there's sometimes I'll have an app that kind of craps out at some point, so I have to do adjustments. But yeah, how long have I been talking for? 13 minutes. Okay, so... I am not going to be, I am not going to be completely 100% a sellout. Uh, I'm not going to sell out to anyone. Uh, unless the price is a lifetime fortune. <laughs> then there is a price on this said man. But ultimately, I am, I feel like I've worked very hard doing this. And I hope that eventually the hard work eventually pays off uh, to where ultimately I will overall just go, oh God, you know what those hours upon hours that it took me to just like edit one video or God, you know, the hours upon hours I spent to ultimately just do a compilation of different movies in one video. 
like the six to eight hours of me just watching movies consistently per almost every other day or me every two or three days that is going to pay off um overall the channel is just going to continue to succeed and and pay itself off because i really put in the work and i hope people aren't thinking that i'm greedy or that i've that all that matters is money it's just like looking at it it's like you don't know how long or how hard this stuff was to do uh it looks easy i make it look easy a lot of the times um there's a lot of stuff that like ac has accumulated in my mind over time where like in the early movie in the some early reviews it was just really super easy to go through and talk about movies um because i've like always wanted to talk about them but then after a while it's just like okay well i just saw this movie and now i'm plopping down here and reviewing it uh now there's a lot more time to have to take to otherwise get certain videos out because it's like i'm researching i'm looking through i'm taking hours upon hours upon hours to stack one whole video and have that go out there and hope everybody likes it um so i hope i hope everything goes well i hope everything continues to go well and thank you for being a part of that because you are a part of it uh you are a, a a substantial part of which uh i can go out of my way to say okay this is working uh this is working things are going well uh not that i'm some magician tricking people into coming here no uh because ultimately i feel that that's quasi sometimes some people that do those algorithm algorithm like moves of like the YouTube algorithm. I'm going to use the YouTube algorithm to ultimately try and benefit from from this and that. Uh, I've tried. I've even tried to do those kinds of things like look certain movies up in Google or Google trending or something like that. Ultimately thinking, well, like, hey, like if I put this movie out and I talk about it, it'll bizarrely go well. And it doesn't. <laughs> it's a lot of random, random guesses and a lot of random bags of movies that just work out severely well. So, uh, if people think that I'm crunching some numbers behind the scenes and I'm trying to, uh, like mathematically figure out the YouTube, no, that still has not been happening yet. <laughs> I wish it would be going that way. Good God, if I just figured out YouTube today, ah, uh, what a life I would lead. But otherwise, I'm going to bleed into just kind of hoping that eventually um, there's a real surefire thing of just everybody who is doing YouTube is just going to start helping one another out. Uh, especially if a lot of people have seen the success of certain things like that's what i wish for one day just the people on high of youtube success uh would ultimately just kind of really like be looking out for one another uh because everybody is out for themselves um yeah so at the end of the day i'm gonna get out of here so I can do other things goodbye everybody bye everybody